Hey fish heads, it's me. So today's video is going to be a workshop update. I'm going to do some tips and tricks and we're going to kind of break it into a couple of parts. I've got a bunch of stuff drying that I'm going to bring in later on. So I'm going to film this in two segments just so you're not confused or anything. start off with this stuff right here and I'm on the handheld today because I just got finished filming a really cool um, spray session that you guys should like. I don't have any gloves on. I just took them off because I had paint all over them. So um, this is that red hot craw. You guys have seen this a couple of times. The depth and the kind of illusion of depth is done with stencils on this. Looks like some of it's fallen apart. And then the rest of uh, the segments on the belly is just a rough cut stencil that I made myself. The eyes came from Lure Parts Online. And there are plenty of reference videos and a link in the description below that's going to show you where to get all the stuff you need for that. This is that really cool pumpkin seed. love this pattern. This is going to be included on some of the um, 2020 releases for new new patterns. So really digging these stencils as well. These are creature feature stencils from Brian Best over at Anarchy UK. Anarchy Models. Got a couple of these. Bring this into focus for you guys. Breeding bluegill. Simple. This is this is a comb. This is just a regular brush your hair with comb. One of the one of the more prominent, at least it used to be until people started getting super fancy, but it's still incredibly effective. Does the job. If you kind of stagger your lines a little bit when you're spraying that back, it looks a little bit cooler, I think. So just a an old school way to put lines down on a bluegill or a sunfish pattern. But then we also have some tricked out stuff as well. So there's a few layers going on in this. There's meshing, there's stenciling and combs, and about three different layers of color. The eyes are from Fish Skulls Living Eyes. The best place that I've found to get those eyes is over at Fish USA online. They're like three bucks a pack of 20. Multiple um, sizes. I think from as small as three up to 15, 16. They get a little bit more expensive when you get the bigger eyes going on in them. And here's that second one. Loving those patterns. Oh, somebody said they wanted to see this when the clear coat was on. This is my best bluegill is what I'm calling it. You guys seem to really like this on um, Instagram and on Facebook, on the Facebook feed. And then I did the, what I think is the better of the two on this dinger pressing. It's that holographic S-crank wide lip square bill. And there we have it. Cool beans. So you guys wanted to see that. And I did some hand detailing on a craw on Facebook a little while ago. But this is very subtle colors. They're the only true black has been what I've done with an acrylic detailing ink, which you guys saw. Lots and lots and lots and lots of color and pop on these. And look at those eyes, folks. That is the coolest. And that's from John over at Jetson. I, he did say that he's going to stop orders so that he can get caught up. It's been a miserable year. Not miserable customer-wise, but supply-wise and staff-wise and everything else. You customers are probably some of the best that we've all ever seen. Um, you're committed to small business. You definitely love to fish and fishing has been a very healthy outlet 
in these, you know, I'm not going to say unprecedented times. Everybody says that. It's such a buzzword that doesn't need to be said. I guess I've already said it, but that's not what it is. It is, um, it's an issue we need a solution to and we need to move on. There is that beautiful, beautiful craw. Lots of detailing on this as well. No black in any of the paint. The only black is in just a little bit on that cross segmenting. And when we come back, oh, oh, you guys haven't seen this yet either. I did three of these. I've got one left. This is my last one that I've got left. Just a, an American toad pattern, pretty much. Also, jets and eyes. Real happy with that. All right, we're gonna come back with the second half of the show in just a moment. Okay, guys, we are in the second part of this video and we're almost through it. Let me get that out of frame a little bit more. Um, and that'll conclude this workshop update. I did it in two parts because I was editing a couple of other things in between. Uh, you guys should have already seen by now the frog that had lots of hand detailing. And that's going to be the last. I'm going to reserve that for the last piece that I show you guys this morning. But this is just, it's a two-piece order that I did duplicates for and I do that a lot. You guys have been asking and asking and asking for me to fish what I paint. And there's a couple of truths to that. Number one, I would love to on most occasions, but I generally just, the, the inventory that I keep in stock, I try and keep just for customers and it's, it's a money saver for me because obviously I'm not made of money. Um, so it helps me be a little bit more cost effective if I have exactly what I need for customers. And then with this crazy year trying to get stuff in, I'm not making excuses for not painting and throwing what I have. I just, Unfortunately, usually paying the bills is much more important than fishing my own stuff. And that's pretty much what it comes down to because if I do like say a couple of duplicates of these, like I have here, more than likely I'm gonna end up selling the pieces so that, that you know, when I make money that helps me eat. <laughs> it helps my family pay bills and have electricity in the shop and stuff like that. So it's not that I'm trying to slight you guys by not fishing. I throw tons and tons and tons of pictures of my pro staffers that fish my stuff and that have done remarkably well. I've got one angler that fishes a lot of my, my patterns that has gone back to back in two years for the state angler of the year. So it's, it's not that my patterns don't work or that I don't want to show you them swimming. I know a lot of people do that and a lot of people... A lot of people are very successful in video making with that, but my angle on this is trying to teach you guys how to make the patterns for yourselves because I know that there's so many people out there that are really interested in learning about this craft. So I'm, I'm going to try and sneak a couple pieces here and there. I am going fishing tomorrow and this one might get fished early, early in the morning. So we'll see. Um, I can't make any promises. We'll, we'll, We'll see if we can get some top water blow ups for you guys. I would love to, but I, I generally don't have the income to spare to do it, if that makes any sense, because this is all I do for a living, so I have to pretty much sell everything that I make. That being said, let's get into these pieces. I've got a spring creeper. Got a little dust or dirt on there. That's all external, comes right off. Um, just probably have done some detailing and stuff here. This is on that LJ. This is this blank came from Cedar Run from Andrew. And um, he's got some really good blanks of this particular version. And then Dinger has got a really, really good version of the circuit board lip of this particular bait. So I love them both dearly. They're great. They swim well. The weight and the, the balance as far as how they're uh, weighted is really good as well. So what I might end up doing at some point is getting a regular spray. I haven't done a versus in a while. Um, the last versus I did was different wiggle wart blanks. And you know, wiggle warts are just huge here in the Ozark. So there we have that one. And then we have a spring gill. So we got the spring creeper and the spring gill. 
couple of couple of versions of that. Real bright flush on the throat. There we go. Very pretty. Only but a goodie. If you guys were wondering, yes, I have made numerous updates to the website. It is constantly being updated. Um, got a couple of new patterns on there. I know it's been slow going trying to get 2020 patterns on there because I just hadn't had the inventory or the blanks to be able to offer that. So I do have some 2020 stuff up there on now. Edit point. I do have some stuff up there now from 2020 that are brand new patterns for you guys. So if you want to check out www.jekyllbaits.com, go over and check it out. I also have, let's see, let's move this out of the way for you. These fish slaps are in, and they're very cool. So they look exactly like this. They're die cast cutouts. So again, they are that exact shape. Five bucks down from seven. So we're doing a sale on a few things. Go check out the website. And then last but certainly not least, this is the clear coated version of the frog. Lots of hand detailing. And you can see the layers in the background and then the layers that I put on the second after the first layer of clear coat went on there. So that is our Cope's Gray Frog that you guys probably have already seen. If you haven't seen me making this, go check that video out. It is from yesterday. And that, folks, is all the news that's fit to print. These are hand-done eyes. So every piece of this eye was hand-detailed by Artist Brush and acrylic ink pen. And if you guys are asking about the pens, which you always do, it is this. And I use a bunch of different ones. Um, let me actually pull this out of the... I can show you just briefly what I use. So I have a lot of detailing pens up there. Sometimes you guys see them, sometimes you don't. Um, I've been at this a while, so I've got quite a bit of stuff to work with. But if you're looking for one specific inexpensive artist pen to get into, this is a safe bet. They're Japanese. They're not ridiculously expensive, and they come from a fat point down to a micro tip, all of which are light fast, they're waterproof, they're fantastic pens to sign your name with. Um, when you sign your name, angle it, don't approach the bait at a 90 degree angle, just kind of let that rollerball do its work. And that, folks, is all the news that I've got. It's fit to print. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and there is lots more to come. Cheers! and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.